Hello guys, welcome back to GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair, where my job was to save you money. Welcome back to the channel. I do appreciate it checking out uh, this new video. I hope you guys find value and please subscribe to the channel. Like, share, comment, and I will post your question down below and I will do my very best to reply or answer any questions or get back to you as soon as I can. All right, for this vehicle, this 95 Silverado 4x4 is a K, as in kilo, 1500 with a 5.7. A customer also requests to replace the fuel filter, okay? Uh, customer stated that he replaced the fuel pump and a look underneath, yeah, you know, look the new fuel pump and new fuel tank. I mean, I believe that he changed the fuel pump. I can look at the fuel tank it looked like a fairly new fuel tank and I will show you in a minute uh, I just gotta find my flashlight huh I don't know where to put it all right oh well we're gonna have to oh it's right here Duh. all right let me set the camera right Top of the fuel tank, you can see the fuel tank is fairly new. Right there, it's just dusty, but anyhow. So right here underneath, let me adjust the camera so you guys can see. Right here, that is this is not an, a difficult procedure. But again, like anything new, if you've never done it, it's kind of like, okay, what do I need to do? Here's your fuel filter. You're gonna need a 21 millimeter or 1316 wrench to hold the filter, and a 5.8 or a 16 millimeter wrench. They're very close to each other, those. So that way, if you don't have one, you have the other one, Great. <clears throat> this is uh, what is it? 1316. Put this one right there. Okay, that was bad. Five eights and something to collect much as possible of the fuel. Okay, we don't want lots of fuel going into the ground and potentially create a, a hazard All right that's loose now we're gonna do the other one I can just switch it here or I can just hold that on the front doesn't really matter All right, both are loose. Now, I can probably come from the top if I really want to, like this. That's one. For some reason, the customer didn't have a chance to replace the, the filter. Anyhow. Okay. Oh, I move my camera. I don't want the camera to get all full of fuel. Wow, that fuel smells really old. I don't know how long ago they replaced this fuel fill. I mean, this fuel pump and the fuel tank. By the fuel, you smell old. That's not good because what ended up happening when you have a bad fuel, it can damage your new fuel pump. So I'm gonna have to talk to them and, and ask them. All right. I'm gonna push this thing out of the way so I can move the, the line. 
Oh, look at that. How dark that fuel is. It's filthy. So definitely the filter in probably is clogged. So we're going to replace it. All right. Let me clean my hand. Oh, dang it. Then I will continue with the video. All right, guys. So uh, here is the old filter. Hmm. Yes, it is restricted. Okay. So it does, it should just flow nice when you apply pressure here. And uh, these vehicles, they don't have very much fuel pressure. Even if you have a, for instance, we have a, a total body injection. This, they are not like the newer uh, fuel injection. It's gonna need around 45 to 65 psi give or take okay this one is gonna have more around 12 to 15 psi I, if i remember correctly but it's very low so whatever restriction that you might have on the filter is going to cause the vehicle to not run correctly all right so that fuel filter is bad you saw it on the video that we have actually bad uh, really filthy in all fuel so here's the new part again. This is the part that I'm using. I'm not getting paid or sponsored by anyone. Okay, I'm just showing you what I'm using. That's it. So let me uh, place the camera here so I can just give you a better angle and I can open this. Here's the filter. Okay, so all we check which direction. This arrow has got to go towards the engine, okay, towards the front of the vehicle. Now, for this car, we do not need this one. So we can save them and have a spare in case, you know, we ever need some. So that's gonna be there. Now, there's one more thing that I want to show you guys. Let me go underneath the vehicle. Here, I'm sorry you guys looking at that. On the ground, here, right there should be an O-ring. Let me grab it there. A rubber O-ring right there. On that one and on the other line. Okay, so we have those there, so we should be okay. If you miss an anoring, make sure you go install it, change it, replace it. Or if you see any of these o rings being peeling or like you know coming apart, just replace it. Do yourself a favor so that way you don't have to do it twice. You know, you always want to do things right the first time, you don't want to do it twice. That kind of suck actually because. On the second time, you don't make no money. So, now, we pull the filter, we push it all the way back. Now we're going to push it forward so we can align it with the front line. The one is going to the engine. Now we can wiggle it. Now we're going to pull the other one forward because we push it back. As you can see there. To give us some uh, some nice uh, there you go. So wiggle the line so that way you can thread it right and don't cross thread the new filter. Snug in there, both. And 
this one is actually a three quarters of an inch or 19 millimeters so I have one right here so sometimes the filters <coughs> tight and a little more okay all right so the next thing to do is going to be going inside the vehicle turn the key on several times prime the, the pump to build pressure and check it you can also turn the engine on however this vehicle right now I ordered another part if you saw in the previous video I checked valve for the <clears throat> for the power brake booster one-way valve so I'm waiting for the right one <coughs> excuse me so I cannot turn the vehicle on all right so anyhow so that's what you do you test it make sure there's no leaks and you're good to go that's it all right guys if you stayed uh, this long watching this video I do appreciate it like the video subscribe to the channel and leave your comments down below Oh, any question you might have so I'll be more than happy to get back to you as soon as I can again do your best forget the rest God bless and I will see you in the next video later